What is up, Pete Sweeney here. We bring you everything that you need to know in regards to relocating into the Emerald Coast. Today, we're gonna to be covering the pros and cons of Gulf Breeze, Florida. Let's go. Anything like me, prior to moving into the Emerald Coast, I had no idea what Gulf Breeze is. So let's kind of go into it real quick. Where is Gulf Breeze? What is Gulf Breeze? So Gulf Breeze is pretty much that peninsula that is in between uh, Pensacola proper and then Pensacola Beach. It's uh, right in between those. Let's go ahead and break into four pros and then I'll break into four cons towards the latter portion of this video. First pro being obviously the schools here in Gulf Breeze, which is a huge attractor to so many people who are choosing Gulf Breeze over Pensacola. Let's go over to the high school. So Gulf Breeze High School is rated A minus according to niche.com all these grades that I'm currently giving you are according to niche.com so I highly recommend going and check out why and how they grade these school systems Gulf Breeze High School is an A minus if we go over to Gulf Breeze Middle that is also an A minus so A's across the board going all the way down to Gulf Breeze Elementary which is also an A minus so you've got A's across the board for all these Gulf Breeze schools you even have a few others though like Oriole Beach which is also graded an A according to niche.com so Gulf Breeze is known for how great their schools are especially Santa Rosa the county which is where Gulf Breeze is located. The second pro that we're going to be covering is the fact that Gulf Breeze is closer to the beach than Pensacola is. So now Pensacola you have Pensacola proper which is like the mainland of Pensacola right and then you have Pensacola Beach which is further on the ocean in the area well, right in between that that peninsula which is Gulf Breeze that is closer to Pen Pensacola Beach than Pensacola is that like you got Highway 98 which is the main highway that goes into Gulf Breeze but if you want to get to Pensacola Beach living in Gulf Breeze would be a lot closer commute as opposed to living in Pensacola. Another huge pro, the third pro that we're going to be covering in regards to Gulf Breeze is the fact that the people here are super friendly. This is something that actually we enjoyed quite a bit when coming into Gulf Breeze is every time we were here, it seems like everyone's friendly, everyone says hi, everyone actually looks up and acknowledges you as opposed to, we came from Denver guys and the fact about it is in Denver, everyone kind of keeps to themselves. No one really says hi. If you do say hi to someone, they think you're abnormal from everyone else. We didn't experience that here in Gulf Breeze and so Gulf Breeze is a super friendly spot. Highly recommend if it's somewhere you want to be where you have a lot of friendly people. The fourth pro that we're going to be covering is Oreo Beach and Tiger Point. I already kind of mentioned Oreo Beach a little bit in regards to the elementary school that they have here, but Oreo Beach and Tiger Point are pretty much they're halved by the golf course, which is Tiger Point Golf Course. And so it's a huge golf community, something amazing. You got people who are bringing their kids to school in golf carts. You drive around the entire community as long as you don't cross over the north side of, of 98. You got access to your, all of your grocery stores, all your hardware stores, all the main stuff. So you see all these golf courses that are constantly, constantly parked in the parking lots of all these different stores. And so it's amazing. The community that they've kind of created over in Oreo Beach and Tiger Point, which is on the east side of Gulf Breeze. The first con that we're gonna be covering in regards to Gulf Breeze is the fact that it is so much more expensive than Pensacola. If you're planning on living in Pensacola and moving out to Gulf Breeze, it is a little bit more expensive. I think there's something bougie about that. Like when you go out and hang out with the locals here, they call Gulf Breeze like pretty much the breezers, right? And so it's one of those things they kind of acknowledge it. Let's go over those cost of living a little bit. If this is your first time watching one of our cost of living videos, what we like to do is use the cost of living index, which we use from bestplaces.com and where your hundred is your national average, right? So anything that's higher than that is obviously more expensive and cheaper cheaper is cheaper than your national average. So let's go ahead and go into that. Where's Gulf Breeze at? Gulf Breeze, you're looking at just over 110, so it is more expensive than your national average. But let's compare that to Pensacola, because that's really what we're looking at. If you're planning on moving into this area, you want to compare, you know, Pensacola and Gulf Breeze. What are we looking at? Pensacola cost of living is at 87.2. You're looking at Gulf Breeze being 20% more expensive than Pensacola in regards to all these different factors. Now that's overall, so that includes your real estate, that includes your miscellaneous, that includes your transportation utilities. Let's break it down a little bit further. What are we looking at with that? So the biggest thing that I've noticed personally, the groceries in Gulf Breeze are so much more expensive as compared to Pensacola. Gulf Breeze, when we're looking at groceries on the cost of living index is a 107.6, whereas Pensacola is a 96. So it just shows that it's 10% higher in regards to grocery. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the fact that they have to bring them out here a little bit further and when transporting the groceries and all those goods that our grocery stores do sell but it is going to be a little bit more expensive if you are planning on purchasing groceries here in Gulf Breeze. One of the biggest factors you're probably going to be looking at with that cost of living is the cost of real estate. What are we looking at for your median sales price in Gulf Breeze as compared to Pensacola? So we're looking at a median sales price of $390,000 here in Gulf Breeze as opposed to Pensacola where it's a median sales price of $289,000. That's almost $100,000 difference 
from Pensacola to Gulf Breeze, the difference in your real estate. Before breaking into that second con, did I already mention that we are your relocation experts when relocating into the Emerald Coast, guys? We started this channel, we started a team to help you out so that you know everything that you need to know when relocating into this area. So if that is something that might interest you, why don't you go and give us a call on that phone number right below, give us an email, it doesn't matter, we'll take it either way. Also, if you could do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell, maybe give us a thumbs up if you really are loving this content. The second con that we're gonna go into in that we've realized is that there's a separation between East Gulf Breeze and West Gulf Breeze. When we talked about that Oriole Beach, Tiger Point area. It is separated from your Gulf Breeze proper in, in many ways. So like the biggest thing that we've noticed, utilities. When you're sitting there trying to call your utility company, you're scrambling trying to figure out all those numbers on who you need to reach in order to make sure that electricity bill gets paid, to make sure that gas bill gets paid, to make sure that you have the, the proper internet, right? That was a pain point that us personally that we ran into and it's a, it sucks because you're sitting there calling Gulf Breeze for all your services and they're like, ah, that's not you need to call them. Before you know it, your power's getting shut off because you thought you had it set up. Come to find out that it really wasn't set up in the first place. The third con that we're going to be breaking into is Highway 98. It doesn't matter what time of day. It seems like there's always traffic on that highway. They are currently expanding it. You got two lanes going each way. They're going to make that a three lane each way, but it doesn't matter what time you go on it, guys. There's always traffic on that highway. It seems like you're always stop and go unless maybe it's like midnight. I don't know, but it just still seems like there's always traffic. So Highway 98 does suck in regards to that traffic another traffic spot is when you do have kids getting picked up on the beginning of 98 where you're running by the middle school the elementary school and the high school it gets congested over there when all the parents are either dropping off or picking their kids up from school it does get a little congested that's your main vein coming in even with the tourists who are wanting to go out to Pensacola Beach and so it does get backed up there something to really consider if you are planning on relocating into Gulf Breeze the fourth con which I don't know if it's gonna apply to you guys the same way it applies to me but me personally I hate snakes I came from Denver Colorado where we do have rest snakes we were always looking out for them and that was a thing but i just found out that they have caught mouth aka water moccasins here i don't know if you've seen that video where they're dropping out of the trees attacking people and stuff like that but those things give me the heebie-jeebies and they do have water moccasins caught mouth here in gulf breeze there you go real quick four pros and four cons of gulf breeze florida guys i'm gonna throw it out there again if you are planning relocating into the emerald coast we are your relocation experts with all your real estate needs we're gonna throw that phone number in below one more time right there give us a call give us a text it's a matter of day or time we're there to answer them all and until next time we love you Bye.